What's up, y'all? It's y'all boy Roll back with another video, man. I can see. Oh, look at the game. Look at the muscle. Look at the muscle. Yeah, man. But you know, um, got the shower. Fresh out the shower. Goddamn. So like, yeah, man. I'm gonna give y'all a like, a like a tour, part part two of my room. Cause let me tell you something. At Air Force, we don't get no roommates, bro. I don't have roommates. I live by myself. I live alone. This is my place. This is my crib. My chilling area. You know what I'm saying? Go and turn up the light. Yeah, you know, I got, I got my lamp on there right now, but, yeah, man, type shit, but, um, like I said, mirror right here, sink right here, um, this is, like, all my stuff, motion, things like that, you know, I gotta keep your body motion right now, I'm saying, especially being out here in the last video, y'all will drag your face up, and look at that, you got the, the vanilla mirror, uh, this actually can be, like, a, a medicine cabinet, you know, I got some shit in there, um, Got clothes in here, shoes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, these, oh man, these easy so hard. I literally just bought these, you know what I'm saying? These jobs are so hard, man. Like, can with the wear them. I really can with the wear them. Uh, Cause I'm going to Anchorage this weekend. So yeah, you know, I got my blues uniform, shit in here, cold weather gear. That's, I guess what? It's the bathroom. It's always clean. I keep it clean all the time. And it smells like me. It smells like I just got showered, you know what I'm saying? Keep this bathroom smelling good because I'll be washing my ass, you know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, man. Um, go to the main room. Ooh, get my, my rug right here, air fryer. I don't have a kitchen. Dirty dishes in there, I gotta wash them. Tissue and things like that, dirty clothes. My bed is not really made right now. Um, there you go. My condiments, seasonings, and stuff in there. Snacks, um, house shoes, my crops, my flies right there. Shower shoes there. My boots on the floor. This is the uniform I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Um, yeah, speaker right here. My Wi-Fi right here, my refrigerator right here, microwave right there, the dresser right here with my best clothes in there. I can't show y'all that. Forgot to show a mirror right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, look at the games, bruh. Pictures right here. I like to make memories. More pictures, tech school, hats, beanies, book bag, LED lights, posters, picture of me when I was younger. Shoe boxes, trash. <laughs> I gotta get the trash. My best only wallet keys. Um, go over here. You know what I'm saying? Look at that light. Laptop from school. And this is my internet computer. This is my laptop for my YouTube channel. So, yeah, this is my laptop for school. Um, let's see if I can turn it on. Oh, yeah, I actually turn it on because I have these lights connected to this laptop. This is my school laptop. This is my laptop for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, both work. The MacBook, the MacBook Air, which is better, in my opinion. And, yeah. TV right here. P5 right here. Play the game. Headset. Good headset. Um, just dropped 72 kills, by the way. Um, my cologne right here. I'm going to get some more to the collection. Microphone. Go ski goggles. Which is ski season finna be over. It snows not to get warm as hell. So it was gonna need for that, right? Yeah, man, I was just like a little quick, quick tour in my room. Um, yeah, bro, like, you already know, like, this is, this is crazy. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna give y'all some tips about being in Alaska. You know what I'm saying? It's really took a toll in my career so it's been a wild start to my career um like i said being in alaska has been like a it's been the experience so yeah um like i said being in alaska let me start with this it's pros and cons so i'm gonna start with cons first con it's cold as fuck you know what i'm saying like the winter time for me, yeah, I, you know, I miss the people. I'm gonna get into that in a minute, but like, it was cold. It was really cold. Um, that negative 40. 
It's something different. It's two Alaska bases too. Like when you're in the Air Force, it's two Alaska bases. Um, you got Jaber, which is down in Anchorage. That's the fun base. That is a, a really good base. Um, joint base, Elmendorf Richardson. That is the the base in Anchorage. I'm not there. I'm in Austin. I'm on the Fairbanks side. So that which is real colder. So I'm in Allison, Allison Air Force Base. <sighs> Near Fairbanks, like 30 minutes from Fairbanks. We kind of like in the middle of nowhere, goddamn. Man, we got to drive 30 minutes out to the city of Fairbanks. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, it's cold. Negative 40. Oh my god, it's so miserable, bro. Negative 40 is so miserable, man. Like, I tell y'all, man, like, that's a different animal. Um, I remember going outside, man. I feel like my nose about to fall off. I can't really breathe. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wear, you gotta wear your clothes right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wear your um, cold weather gear. You got cold weather gear. You got all types of, you know, it'll give you all that stuff when you get up here. But it's it's really life changing for me. Like I ain't gonna lie, like this this place really changed my life. But it's. You know, it's getting better. I'm getting used to it. It's warm now, so which is good. So I'm getting to my next con. It gets dark, hella dark. So like, okay, for me, when I first got here, um, I got here in December. So like, it was dark. You know, the sun rose at 11 and sat at 3. You know what I'm saying? That shit sucked. I ain't gonna lie, when I first got here, it was suck. No sunlight. When I go to work, it was dark. Get off of work, it was dark. And I basically work more than shift. And the thing is, like, I'm working the night shift 24 fucking 7. So, being that it's dark and it's cold, it's harder to just get into my next con. It, it, it makes it harder to do things like go to the gym. It makes you less, less productive because you're lacking that vitamin D, that sunlight, and that warmth that make you more, you know, productive. So it's gonna be a challenge, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm getting to my next con is your mental health decrease, you know what I'm saying? That's why like you gotta constantly like you feel like, you know, when you out here you gotta seek help if you're feeling down, you know what I'm saying? Like this place will get you, you know what I mean? It will get to you, especially like you far away from home, bro. It's gonna get to you, man. Like it ain't no joke either. So like like I said, up here it's different, it's cold, it's dark. Doing that, it's, and I ain't gonna lie to you, like, it's not that bad because, like, to me, you know, it didn't even last that long. Um, it went by fast, like, the, especially the darkness. Like, I say, like, by the end of January, it started to get better. Um, you start seeing results, to, like, in mid January to like end of January to February. Then when you in March, you scrape because I mean, when it's March, it's sitting the sun don't set to like six thirty. The start of March and it goes to 7 30. Now, just right now, it's about the end of March. The sun don't set to 8 30. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's really good. And that, you know, being that it's getting warmer now, people are getting more productive. So, that's really good about that. So, it really don't last that long, to be honest with you. But, like I said, while you're in that time, just, you know, eat right, drink water, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that can stimulate your mind a little bit. Try being as active as possible because that's what I was doing. You know, even when it was dark, I was, I was being as active as possible. I was always in the gym. And then it was dark as shit. I was still been in the gym. Cold. Yeah, man. You name it, bro. It was, it was bad. So, yeah, man. Um, another thing is, another con in the wintertime, um, your car can get effed up. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, if, you, if your car ain't winterized, um, it's, I'm trying to tell you, boy, that, that cold will fuck your car, kind of, if you don't maintain it right, because I see a lot of people cars, you know, if you don't plug your car in, you know what I'm saying, if you watch my previous videos, I told y'all about that plug-in stuff, but like, um, if you don't plug your car in, it's, it's going to freeze, and you, your car will not start the next morning, bro. it will not start, like, your battery is frozen, everything's frozen, and like, it's crazy, man. Like it's a it's a really crazy experience, bro. It never happened to me, thank God, because I was responsible. But you know, winterizations is like really cost a lot of money up here, which is about to get to my another con. Everything is expensive. That's like one of the biggest cons in Alaska. Everything is expensive as fuck. Like 
I don't get why everything's so damn expensive. Everything is high here. Like, even try to buy a US car up here, it is ridiculous, bro. Like, I, I just don't understand why the market up here, why it's so messed up. And, like, and like the population of Alaska, like, the whole entire state, even though it's the largest state in the US, the population of Alaska is like 500,000, or it's half a million. You know, I'm from South Carolina, and South Carolina has way over a million people. Honestly, South Carolina has like, I think the total population of South Carolina is 4 million people. And it's probably more than that, more people moving to South Carolina every day. So, like, yeah, man, like, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, it's a small state like that compared to a big ass state of Alaska. I know a lot of people don't want to live there because, like, it's cold as shit. So, like, I get it. But, yeah, man, but I don't understand why it's so damn cold. No, not cold. It's so damn expensive out here, bro. Like, it's really expensive out here, right? Like, but, you know, I'm living. I'm living. You know what I'm saying? Like, I figure ways how to move around that. And, you know, I got my first car up here. That's a, that's a good thing. So, like, yeah, man. Um, Another thing is, I'm, I'm just getting to the pros. This is the best part. The pros. Got to get the cars out of the way. Got to start getting to the pros and the positives. All right. Pro number one. Alaska is the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life. Point play period. The nature of it is the natural beauty. The pro, this is the biggest pro. Like, it's beautiful out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really beautiful, dude. Like, I, I can't, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. You take these little road, take these road trips. Like, I'm about to take this week in Anchorage. Take this road trip to these different places. You see the mountains. You see glaciers, bro. All these hills, all these trees. It's so beautiful, like. And I'm used to playing flat woods, country, beaches. I'm used to that. But like out here, these mountains, glaciers, wildlife, so exotic shit that I've never seen in my life. Only shit I've seen like on National Geographic, man. Like this is the stuff I see on National Geographic. And I'm witnessing it in real, real life. And another thing is a lot of people wait their whole lives to see Alaska. Nobody, it's a very low percentage of people in this world or the country that actually sees Alaska, bro. Because Alaska is like, it's the final frontier. It's really the final, it's not called, the state is not called the final frontier for no reason, bro. A lot of people want to come to Alaska. It's expensive to come up here. And I come up here for free, goddamn. So, yeah, man, it's a natural beauty. It's so beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love it. I, love, I really love Alaska, though, man. It, it, it actually grew on me. It actually grew on me. So, like, yeah. And another pro is you make a lot, you make a lot of money. Man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, if you get stationed in Alaska, you can make more money than your stateside counterparts. You know what I'm saying? The people in the stateside don't make as much money as we do. We get paid more. You know what I'm saying? Because that cooler. That cooler. And we don't, they don't have state taxes, so we're not getting taxed as heavy either. So, yeah, and they know BAS, they pay up here. Oh my goodness, they, they be, they paying, they paying motherfuckers out here. Bro. They paying low. So, like, the money, I have no complaints about it because you get paid a lot of money to get stationed up here because it is expensive up here. So, they pay you those allowances to help combat, you know, these high end prices out here. And you know, the thing is, like, shoot, I don't have no kids, I have no family, I ain't married, so like, I just be parking in that money, goddamn. I be eating at the defect, you know what I'm saying? But I end up buying my first car, though, up here, so like, I do got that responsibility paying that car off, which I'm gonna pay off, playing by the end of the year, but I don't know, time to tell. Yeah, man, um, another thing is, another big pro is, I met a lot of cool people here. Um, it's, the people, like, you will meet people. You got, like, Alaska going to force you to go out and talk to people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm not scared to talk to people, but, you know, I'm like, I'm a real timid, like, I'm timid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm more of a timid person, but, you know, it actually forced me to be more outgoing. I am more outgoing now and which is really good, you know, a lot of people mess with me, I have good energy, everybody, like, gravitates towards me, you know what I'm saying, which is really good, so, like, 
Um, yeah, man, I it really grew. I, I really turned into a more outgoing person. So, yeah, man, I met a lot of cool people on the way here, to be honest with you. It's really been tight. Um, going out, like I said, on the road trip with a group of friends of mine that I met out here. So, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, man. Um, so I think I'm another pro. I'm trying to make it a little pro. Um, not a pro. These dorms are nice. Um, which I share with y'all just now. My room look. My room looks really good. I always keep my room clean all the time. Um, I mean, like you can see, like around me, like you probably can't see now. The camera focusing on me, but um, yeah, man. You know, me and my room a little vibe. So. Yeah, man, like, like I said, bro, um, it is what you need. So, yeah, man, um, another thing is the outdoor activities. I know that's a, that's a big pro. Outdoor activities is, like, where you go skiing, snowmobiling. You try stuff, especially a lot of people never do those stuff before. Because, like, a lot of people from down south, it don't snow down there. Especially a lot of people I know up here, they not used to, they from down south, and they, they, you know, they never seen snow in a day in their life. So, like, skiing, snowmobiling, all that thing, things of that nature, bro. Um, snowboarding, you know, dog sledding. Um, that's really good for the winter times, you know what I'm saying? They got some really cool activities, even though it's cold. Summertime, um, the summertime, it's... You got the, I ain't experienced summer yet because I got in the winter, but I heard that summertime is really great outdoor activities as well. Like, you know, they got fairs, carnivals, they got um, ATV stuff, if you're into four-wheeling, dirt bikes, things like that. They have a lot of that up here. Hunting, hiking, all that stuff out here. Fishing is pretty good too up here. They got, you know, salmon is a big thing up here. Um, so it's a lot of like different types of species of fish up here that's pretty good. So yeah, man, like it's a lot of great outdoor things to get into because Alaska is like I said a natural beauty. So when it comes with that, you have you know things like that, like you know all the outdoor activities you can do, and you know and it's open carry up here too with the gun laws. They have really lax gun laws up here, so you know. I understand why, you know, you're in Alaska. Everybody's kind of to themselves a little bit, but it's some really nice people, you know. Alaskans are some nice people. But, um, yeah, like I said, the guns, it's wildlife out here, too. You know, I forgot to mention that as one of the cons, but, you know, it's hella wildlife out here. Like bears, moose. Moose is the worst. Um, I haven't seen one since I've been up here yet, but I heard a lot of stories about moose. A lot of bad stories. They got a bad reputation up there. Bears, people don't really see them like that. Bears really be in the woods, deep in the woods to themselves. They got wolves up here, foxes, coyotes. And, you know, they got, you know, it's Alaska stuff, bro. But, you know, as long as you don't bother the animal, man, you know, you don't cross their territory or don't bother their baby or their calf or their cub, please don't do that. Especially when it comes to your cubs or calves, bro. Do not approach when you see a baby bear cub or a moose calf a baby moose if you see one of those do walk far back far away as possible bro because that mother is near you never know that mother will come out of nowhere and karate chop your head but but <laughs> but yeah man um like i said the wildlife i heard the mosquitoes pretty bad too and in the summertime i haven't experienced that yet but like I don't know if people are exaggerating because I'm from the South. I'm kind of used to that. Um, mosquitoes and things like that from the country. So I know uh, mosquitoes and uh, sand gnats. I think sand gnats are they more annoying for one to me in my opinion. Because sand gnats, they, they swarm. And I heard the mosquitoes out here big though. Like they be, and, and they ain't swarm. So like, you know, I ain't really fucking with that. So yeah man. but overall man i think alaska is a really cool place to be stationed at and another good thing about alaska you are guaranteed to leave here when you want to you can extend if you want to but like i said like you're here for three years and you get out that's it all right compared to these other stateside bases people sometimes people be stuck in these stateside bases for their whole contract bro 
and like that, which is suck. They don't have any opportunity, you know, travel and stations of other bases. Some bases don't have deployment opportunities as well. TDY, heavy bases, like some state state stateside bases don't have that. But this base right here, you are guaranteed to get TDY and deployed. So like you're gonna have a lot of travel opportunities. While you up here, you're gonna be leaving Alaska. Like, you know, you're gonna be traveling from Alaska, coming back. And you get to tell people your cool experiences because like, I can't wait to tell people like, hey, like, it's really cool that you've been in Alaska, you've been in this place, you've been in that place. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to go to Hawaii this year too. So, you know, that's a flex to say like, hey, I've been to Hawaii and Alaska. So that, that's a flex, but either way, man, it's pretty cool, man. Like being up here is really cool, bro. Like it's different. It's a different environment for one, and it's beautiful. It's cold, you know. I'll be having my ups and downs about that with that weather, but it's get it's much warmer now. You know what I'm saying? I'm really chilling. Everybody is like kind of happy. Everybody's in a good mood. Everybody's working out in the gym. That's really good. So yeah, man, I love to see that. I love to see the, the work, but. Yeah, man. But that's all I got for y'all today. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.